Hello, welcome to Swiss watch cam. Welcome to a very special video. Today I'm taking delivery of my latest watch. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I'm here with Felipe Piccoli. Thank you so much for coming to Zurich. I thank you. Um, and we're going to take it, uh, my Pichonic watch, which we created together. It took about, uh, I would say from September to January. Yes, of course. Yeah. We, we spoke a lot. Uh, it's very customized, very uh, custom for me. Yeah, it's a uh, unique watch. That, yeah, basically, yeah, <laughs> literally. So, uh, how you been? How how was uh, how was last year for you? Last year was great. Um, I published my new model Sternhimmel, and this was more or less the start of attention for the watches. Yeah. And yeah, so now you can see on my Instagram um, a lot of new models. Uh, like the Sternhimmel or um, unique pieces and also the de developing and the processing of producing the watches. Yeah, you do a lot of Instagram reels where you show how yeah. you make the watches, how you polish, how you skeletonize them because most people don't realize that there's a lot of work which goes into this watch, right? Yeah, of course. So basically we have a base movement here on the table and we have my watch which is hidden here. I haven't seen it yet. This yeah. was the whole idea. So he came yesterday to Zurich and I had to basically, you know, be content not to check the watch while uh, he was, you know, next to me. So I haven't seen it. So we're going to do the big reveal now and we'll go through my watch and the different uh, processes of uh, decoration, finishing, why I chose some elements and also to show you what is possible to make with the Felipe Piccoli, basically, right? Because you can make a very uh, simple looking Sternhimmel. Of course. Or uh, you can make it really complicated, which I think we did. So, yeah. Please. Yeah. <laughs> so we started to to make the sketches for your watch, yeah. and a lot of bespoke uh, discussing yes, how yes. it will be look like, and now you will see the real watch. Okay, so uh, let's go to the watch. Show me what what you created. I'm I'm kind of nervous, so let's go. Let's see this. Okay. Live reaction, huh? Okay, live reaction. Here you can see it. <laughs> That's the real watch. Damn. <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> Holy, I can't swear, so I would otherwise. This looks f***ing dope. I just yeah. did. <laughs> and here you have your uh, Swiss Watch Gang logo inside. And Damn, uh, man. <laughs> complete engraved movement uh, diet. Oof. Yeah. That looks amazing. <laughs> so, that's the yeah, side. They make them, yeah, the movement's sick as well. Huh? Yeah. Holy. Damn, I, I can't swear. I like to swear on, in private. I can't do it <laughs> now on camera because we'll have to bleep it out the whole time. But sick. this looks sick, man. Holy ass. Jesus. It looks, uh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> it's fun to see because we, we, we've been talking about this for so long. Yeah, of course. And we tried to do things which were never done before, basically, yeah. with your watches. You know, the, the plaque is different. Uh, we have the logo, which is hand engraved, not hand engraved, but made with a machine. Yeah. But uh, the logo was your idea at the beginning, right? Yeah, I, the I logo. was really for it. Yeah, we, we wanted to, to put some identity of your um, creation and so we have a combination of my watch and yeah. your uh, identity yeah. and the watch. That's very special because it's the first one, mm -hmm. uh, the first watch where I did this um, more or less complication. So at six o'clock you have your logo yeah. and it, it's, it is um, connected Just to the movement so you can see it turns one way in a minute. Yeah, it's and basically a seconds disc. Right? Yeah, it's a yeah. seconds disc, more or less. Yeah. Very cool. Damn, man. So we chose a special plaque as well at 12 o'clock. Yeah, it's also the first one with this design. <laughs> yeah. And uh, then the diamonds, of course. Of course. I don't have a diamond watch yet, but I thought with this one, yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead. So you have the... your first diamond watch and <laughs> that's, uh, that are hand set it. Yeah. Um, Diamonds and at the dial you have VVS, the highest quality that yeah. you can have. Uh, yeah, very special watch. So what do you do actually in house on the dial side? Let's see. Yeah, at the dial side I do everything. So just the engraving. I have an engraver, mm -hmm. um, Matthias. He's my engraver, and I I make the design and the sketch for the for the dial, and then I begin with a piece of brass yeah. of metal and then I cut it and turn some things on the watchmaker slate. Uh, for example, the, the second disc is, is a little bit deep in the, yeah. 
in the dial and so you have I turned out something in the dial. Ah, beautiful. And the hands are polished. You yeah. make the hands as well, right? Yeah, the hands also are made of brass and cut it out with the saw yeah. and filing and just the finishing takes some hours. Gorgeous. And I see the plaque doesn't have screws. It has like no. It is um, with pins or something. I don't know how to call it. Pins huh? which which are um, 0 0.03 millimeter yeah. thicker than the hole. So you, I press it ah, in nice. the in the dial. So you have a very precision. Very cool, man. This is this is work sick, just at the dial. So we chose this model and the lugs because when I saw them, I was just mesmer mesmerized by the lugs. In person, I gotta say that the watch uh, looks smaller. Yeah. Than on the photos, I was uh, skeptical at the beginning if I should do the big one or the normal, the smaller movement, or the smaller case because that's also an option. Um, but now seeing it like this, for me, I think it's perfect. It's perfect. Yes, the case have See? the lugs go down, yeah. so you have a nice um, integration to your yeah. wrist. And I have a big wrist, so yeah. for those who are interested in this model, I have a 18.1 centimeter wrist size. So you can see how it fits me. For me, I still have some space, I, so I could have even a bigger case. What's the diameter? The diameter is 41 millimeter. Yeah. And the lug to lug? It's 50. 50, okay. So you guys can just measure it. And the, the height of the case? The height is 10.0. Yeah, it's slimmer than I thought, huh? Yeah. Really? And the lugs are nice, man. Uh, the diamond <laughs> lugs you. are freaking cool. Awesome. And that's not the only thing we did. No. We also did a lot on the movement side. Of course. Uh, because I was really complicating. Yeah. <laughs> but More you, or less. <laughs> you also liked it because you said it's like a challenge to do something new, right? Yeah, I love something new. I love do watches, uh, unique watches. Yeah. I don't like um, to do something uh, that's not special. Yeah. So I love to discuss for the movements. So if we turn it around. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> So it's my first time seeing it, so I'm just, yeah, I, I can't even talk right now. So this is actually what movement as a, as a base? It starts the, off with this basically, correct? Yeah, I, I have here the original base movement. It's uh, ETA, um, ETA Unitas movement. And then I put out everything. Yeah. And also the, the pinions and the gears, the gears. Um, I put out everything and finish everything yeah. and and also do do a level up from yeah. the pinions more or less mm -hmm. and and uh, I cut the bridges yeah. and uh, we polish yeah. them. Yeah, we'll show the watch in close detail for sure. So what we did here was a special type of uh, finish on the movement, which I haven't done before. Yeah. What what did we choose here? Yeah, we have uh, if you can see the catalog, um, you have three options. Mm -hmm three basic options. You have more unique options, but the three basic options are the basic movement. Yeah. Um, you can see on my Instagram. And you have the middle option. The middle option is the ZBM1 yeah. movement design. And there you have the cut bridges and the new design of the movement. And also the finishing and not just the shape of the bridges. You have also the top of the bridges yeah. finished in frosting. Yeah. You have a frosting yeah. and that's very, very nice. I yeah. love it. It's the, and also the hand engraving on the balance bridge. Yes. That's a, the most <laughs> uh, beautiful combination of finishing that I uh, prefer. Yes, yeah. I prefer that. I agree. It's very man. nice. I agree. We were very, uh, we complicated a lot with yeah. this watch. Um, but I think it's worth it. I have to go under the loop and check it out. But so far it looks amazing. I, uh, you have also a name of the model usually on the balance cock, which yeah. I think we put under the balance wheel now just to hide it. Yeah, you can see it yeah, under the it's balance on the side, yeah. yeah. Because I wanted it to, it to be as neutral as possible. Yeah. Some people like, you know, some names written on there, which is also possible, but I, I want the movement to be just clean. This is awesome, man. This is uh, this is really a good job. Yeah, you have a, <laughs> you have a classic modern watch. Yes, <laughs> yes basically. Yeah. And for, for somebody who would like to purchase a watch like this, let's say, what is the, the price point maybe of the beginning of your watches? And also, how much would this watch cost somebody 
if you would go into this direction or level of yeah. changing it basically. Yeah, it's that's by the model Sternen Himmel. Yeah. It's called uh, it's the German name for Starry Sky. It have a dial uh, which is made also of brass. Mm -hmm. It's a handmade dial which have three VVS diamonds at six, nine, and three o'clock. Yeah. And yeah, at the back side you have the basic movement, um, which is also finished and cut it with the saw. You have a lot of handmade uh, work, no. craftsmanship, and yeah, it starts by two thousand eight hundred euro. Mm -hmm. And so you can level up the watch with the other shape of yeah. the bridges and the finishing the engraving. Decoration, like on the balance cock here, right? Decoration. And diamonds, of course. Of course. The gears also, you can do yeah. something. You can make anglage on the gears. Mm -hmm. It's very deep. Yeah. But that's for the passion. Yeah. Yeah. And so if you level it up to this one with a hand engraved dial and also the back side, which you have uh, finished with another um, shape, mm -hmm. um, you have a price of 7,000 euro. Yeah. In this case, because you have also uh, diamonds on the lux, mm -hmm. that's at the Sternenhimmel, at the model Sternenhimmel, yeah. you have no diamonds on the lux, yeah. just on the die. Yeah, but you can customize, right? Of so I, I think, like, for, from the amount of work you spent on this watch, how much you time you devoted also talking to me what would you like you gave suggestions i gave suggestions we were on video calls and i think the price is still relatively affordable if i compare it to what else is on the market which doesn't feature any customization for se. yeah i want to offer the best for this uh, movement and mm. this work that i put into this watch yeah and yeah what's the what's the future for you what do you think because you're a young guy you just uh came on the scene basically got yeah. recognition which i'm super happy as well um what's the what's your wish in the future the, the ideal scenario yeah if say. we speak of uh, for my wish mm -hmm. um we go to the inspirations and i can talk about my inspiration and my vision it's uh how you can see at the basic model sternenhimmel yeah it's called starry sky that's my my wish to go to the astronomical complications yeah. and I am also working actually on two moon phases oh. one 3d moon phase with a with a ball of mm -hmm. six millimeter which is black rhodium plated and white rhodium plated it's an Instagram mm -hmm. and also a flat moon face nice yeah Plan. and that's what, the future I want to what's, what do you think where when will this be possible to, yeah. to purchase or to launch or? I want to launch this two watches at 2023. Yeah, yeah. nice. So no. guys, uh, follow him so you don't miss out, right? Because again, you are very uh, backed up on orders from what you said, Yeah. Uh, which is amazing. And again, I think it's nice that people recognize the work you put into these watches. And again, just something unique, because I haven't seen this before when I, when I saw your watch for the first time. I have to give credit to a guy to watch on Instagram, he's, of he's, he's a cool guy. Thank uh, you very much. Yeah, you see watches there where you don't see often. Uh, like my channel, but he goes really deep into some forums or something. I don't know where he finds these things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Felipe, listen, I wish you all the best. I'm very happy to be part of, uh, of your journey, part of this, uh, also to have one in my collection. I'll see you soon anyway. We go grab some, some food now. Guys, if you have some questions for Felipe, just uh, send him an Instagram message or maybe in the website. Yeah, um, of course. Many options available. If you want to do something with him which isn't on the website or the page, ask him. Because yeah, he loves the challenge. And, uh, and yeah, that's it. Share this video with somebody who likes independence as much as we do. And uh, until next time, I'll see you soon.